for my segment, what does that mean? We're going to be talking about univocality. And this is a word that I'm quite fond of using. I don't remember where I heard it first, but uh, I have seen it being used by a number of scholars in addition to a couple other variations on this theme. But univocality uh, from the Latin means one voice. And the idea is basically that all the different passages in the Bible, they all share the same perspective. In other words, the Bible speaks with one single and unified voice. One passage cannot disagree with another. And this is something that developed long ago as early Jewish readers of the Jewish scriptures and early Christian readers of the Christian and the Jewish scriptures were wrestling with how to make sense of the different passages that seem to be saying a lot of different things. And there are readers within the rabbinic tradition, there are readers within the early Christian tradition that developed a number of different ways to tease out lots of different insights from the text. But one thing that was kind of always in the background uh, and was never that explicitly prescribed, it was never uh, really declared that we we have to read the text this way, but it, it was always an assumption there is the univocality, the idea that this is all inspired by God. Therefore, it must mean the same thing. It must all agree. 